but perhaps 10, let's say 20 years from now, we'll be able to go back every 10 years for, for a reset and, uh, and stay young for not just decades, but even longer than that. So some of us can see the 22nd century. Imagine a time when you can go to your doctor for a prescription of medications that regenerate your body, sharpen your mind, and make you look more youthful. Sounds like something out of Hollywood. Well, it soon may not be, because scientists have been making massive leaps in creating technologies that not only slow aging, but may also be able to reverse it. In this video, we'll cover the top 9 most promising anti-aging technologies, plus a bonus technology that will revolutionize the anti-aging field. The first medical technology are stem cells. Stem cells are young cells that can turn into many or sometimes any type of cell, such as a liver, muscle, or skin cell. As we age, the number and performance of our stem cells decreases, reducing the ability of our organs to work properly and contributing to aging. Stem cells have shown lots of potential in humans as treatments for diseases, including heart disease, arthritis, cancer, and even infectious diseases where one study found an improved survival rate in COVID-19 patients. Transplanting young or rejuvenated aged stem cells can extend lifespan too. One group of scientists have shown treatment of aged female mice with a molecule called casein that rejuvenates stem cells, lowered inflammation, produced a younger epigenetic clock, and extended maximum lifespan. Astonishingly, transplanting a rejuvenated blood stem cells to other old mice that are immunocompromised extended their maximum lifespans by 34%. Another study found that transplanting young stem cells into older mice increased their median lifespan and improved their health. No wonder many celebrities have undergone stem cell treatments. Now let's talk about blood exchange. Studies in which the blood circulatory systems of an old mouse was connected with a young mouse have shown improvements in many health markers and lifespan extension in the aged mice. These studies suggest that the benefits in these experiments were caused by rejuvenating factors such as the hormone oxytocin from the young blood or dilution of pro-aging factors or accumulated damage in the old blood. Studies from one lab suggest it's the latter. They found that simply diluting blood in old mice improved their brain function, decreased inflammation in the brain, improved muscle repair, and decreased fat in the livers. They also found that several rounds of blood dilutions, termed therapeutic plasma exchange, in elder individuals reduced their blood ages based on many molecular biomarkers. If the positive findings keep coming, plasma dilution could be one of the most accessible, inexpensive, and low-risk solutions to extend healthy lifespan. Winning! 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 What if you could just swap out old body parts as you age, just like they do with cars? The idea of exchanging our aged organs with younger ones to improve our health and make us more youthful is an emerging and realistic possibility. Even if it sounds eerily close to the plot in the dystopian movie The Island. Nevertheless, researchers have shown that transplanting organs like bone marrow or ovaries from young mice to old mice improved health and extended maximum lifespan. If you're thinking, where are we going to get all these young organs? Have no fear, Ewan McGregor and Scarlett Johansson. 3D organ printing looks like a viable solution. 3D organ printing is a process where replicate organs are created in a laboratory using large 3D printers, typically from the patient's own cells. 3D organ printing has already been used to create real organs, which is so cool. How about this as an anti-aging treatment? Vaccines. A team of researchers from Japan have created a vaccine that improved aging-related disease symptoms and extended life in mice. The finding even caught Dr. David Sinclair's attention. In a premature aging mouse model, a vaccine targeting senolytic cells reduced metabolic abnormalities and atherosclerosis in aged mice. It also improved physical performance and increased the lifespan in male mice by 22%. The researchers expect similar vaccines will be used to also treat age-related diseases. We can expect that the vaccine will be applied to the treatment of arterial stiffening 
diabetes, and other age-related diseases, said Professor Toru Minamino. Now we all know that vaccines are controversial, to say the least, but I bet there'd be a lot more people lining up to get jabbed if the treatment would slow down their aging. Believe it or not, there are also drugs and supplements that you can get right now that will improve your health and likely extend your lifespan. Here are the top five. Rapamycin, which is an antifungal and antibiotic. One study found rapamycin extended lifespan by up to 14% in genetically heterogeneous mice, even when treatment was started in late life. Human studies look promising too for this drug. Metformin, a drug made from a compound in the French lilac plant. Metformin has been shown to lower the incidence of all-cause mortality in diabetics and non-diabetics, with one study showing non-diabetics taking metformin lived 15% longer. Senolytics. Senolytics are compounds such as dasatinib, quercetin, and fisidin that target and destroy senescent cells, which are pro-inflammatory cells that drive aging. In addition to improving health span in animals, Senolytics were shown to extend lifespan of mice by up to 35%. Calcium AKG, or alpha-ketoglutarate, which is a molecule in our bodies that plays several pivotal roles. Treatment of mice with alpha-ketoglutarate reduced frailty, hair loss, chronic inflammation, and increased maximal lifespan by nearly 13% in males and 20% in females. A recent study on humans demonstrated that Alpha-ketoglutarate supplementation for 7 months decreased biological age by around 8 years, as measured by a DNA methylation test. NAD precursors. NAD plus is a critical molecule, a coenzyme, present in all living cells within the body, whose levels decline as we age. Nicotinamide riboside and nicotinamide mononucleotide are two compounds that boost NAD plus levels. Increased NAD plus extends lifespan in many animal models. For instance, NR supplementation extended the lifespan of aged mice by nearly 5%. As beneficial as these medications and supplements are, they will become even better if we improve their delivery. What if we could harness nanotechnology to become more youthful, just like in Johnny Depp's forgettable movie Transcendence? Nanotechnology is a cross of science and engineering aimed at creating structures and devices at a very small scale. Some of the biggest applications of nanotechnology is in medicine, where it's used to help with drug delivery and diagnosing or treating diseases, including slowing aging. One way nanotechnology is being used for diagnosis are smart pills, which can detect the presence of diseases long before symptoms appear using nanoscale sensors. The first smart pill in this category was PillCam, which has a tiny camera used to detect Crohn's disease, polyps, or internal bleeding in the intestines or colon. Another use for nanotech in medicine are nanorobots, which are miniaturized organic or inorganic machines with motors, payloads, cameras, and occasionally probes and lasers. These tiny robots are envisioned to deliver medications to a specific part of the body at a specific time, find and remove plaque, blood clots and cysts, and perform localized surgeries. Another application of nanotechnology is increasing delivery, the bioavailability of drugs and supplements. For instance, the senolytic quercetin is poorly absorbed and used by the human body. To overcome this, scientists loaded quercetin into solid lipid nanoparticles, which drastically improved its bioavailability compared with a pure quercetin powder. The next promising anti-aging technologies are microbiome therapies. The microbiome, which consists of bacteria, viruses, and fungi that live in and on your body, is key to longevity. Here's some of the evidence. Take for example this study in mice with premature aging diseases where transplantation of gut microbiota from healthy mice extended their lifespan. This study also found that transplantation of only the gut bacteria V. acromansia mucinifilia, which are found at high levels in long-lived humans, was enough to produce beneficial effects in mice. 
and targeting gut microbiome with treatments such as diet, prebiotics, probiotics, or fecal microbiota transplantation, yes, a poop transplant, improved many aging associated symptoms, including frailty, cognitive decline, bone mineral density, inflammation, and immune response. Personalized treatment of the gut microbiome will become an essential and viable option for maximizing health and lifespan. Another very exciting anti-aging technology is gene therapy. Gene therapy is a method to modify or manipulate genes, usually to treat or cure disease. There are two primary uses of gene therapy to increase healthy lifespan. The first is replacing or silencing pro-aging genes, which may drive aging and increase our risk of disease. For instance, scientists identified the CAT7 gene product as a pro-aging factor that increases in liver cells during aging and promotes formation of senescent cells. With the aid of CRISPR, a gene cut and paste tool, the scientists turned off the CAT7 gene in older mice. They found that these treated mice were healthier, had better grip strength, improved behavior response to anxiety, and most excitingly, increased lifespan. The second use of gene therapy for healthy longevity is adding a new or modified copy of pro-longevity genes. Scientists found that intranasal application or injection of the TERT gene into mice extended their median lifespans by over 40%. The same study found that gene therapy with FST, a gene whose product is important for muscle growth, extended median lifespan of mice by over 30%. Both these treatments also improved physical performance and many health markers in the mice. Some individuals are jumping the gun and are already receiving gene therapy in hopes of improving health and extending lifespan. While a bit early, gene therapy looks like one of the most promising approaches to extend healthy lifespan. One emerging anti-aging technology causing tons of excitement is epigenetic reprogramming. Epigenetic reprogramming offers two main ways to rejuvenate cells, organs, and possibly even organisms. Genetic reprogramming and chemical reprogramming. Genetic approaches require adding specific genes, most commonly Yamanaka factors, which are four genes whose products can reprogram cells to become younger. Studies with Yamanaka factors show lots of potential. Here are a couple examples. Yamanaka factors given to mice that age prematurely produce improved aging symptoms and prolonged lifespans. And modified Yamanaka factors given briefly to old mice improved their health and extended their lifespans by 109% compared to their non-treated peers. Chemicals have also been identified that can rejuvenate cells similarly to Yamanaka factors. One very recent study has shown that short-term treatment with two small molecules restores many aging symptoms in human cells and extended lifespan in worms by 42%. While it's still uncertain whether genetic and chemical reprogramming treatments will be a viable option for humans, supplements such as calcium AKG may activate Yamanaka factors and slow aging. Some of the who's who in science and business have jumped on studying or investing in epigenetic reprogramming, so keep your eyes peeled for progress in this area. If you're thinking that it'll take decades before any of these treatments are available, you may be right. Enter our bonus anti-aging treatment, cryogenics. While it's technically not a treatment, it has the potential to keep us around long enough for next generation anti-aging treatments to arrive. Cryogenics is the use of very low temperatures to preserve structurally intact living cells, tissues, and organisms. While it may sound like science fiction, there's been some leaps in making cryogenics a possibility in the near future. For example, scientists have been able to successfully revive a cryopreserved rabbit kidney, which by itself kept a rabbit alive for weeks. In another study, Yale researchers showed that their perfusion system called Organ X preserved tissue integrity, decreased cell death, and restored selected molecular and cellular processes across multiple vital organs in pigs after one hour of ischemia, which is loss of blood flow and oxygen. This technology can't come soon enough for several people that have been cryopreserved, including the famous baseball player Ted Williams. If you want to hear more about anti-aging technologies, watch these videos.